Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we have x squared plus kx plus 2k. We're going to be looking for when k is each of these numbers, when is x plus 3 going to be a factor? And you can do this using some special tricks, or we can just do it the hard way. Which is actually not that hard, it just requires a little bit extra work, but it doesn't require you to memorize tricks with b's and a's and c's from ax squared plus bx plus c. You just have to know how to factor. So we have this, x squared minus 3x plus 2 times negative 3. And then down here, space it out a little bit, x squared plus 3x plus 2 times 3. x squared plus 9x plus 2 times 9. This one, ignore for later. I hope that we don't have to do it. It involves fractions and just don't really want to deal with that. This one, x squared minus 3x minus 6. This one, x squared plus 3x plus 6 squared x squared plus 9x plus 18. So we're here gonna we're in a factor. All of these you could use the quadratic formula. Not necessary if you can find the factors. Okay. We have this. We have negative 6. So we're gonna have x plus and x minus. And we're gonna say, are there any factors of 6 that are gonna add to negative 3? Don't see any off the bat here. Similar situation with 3 and 6, except both of them are plus. Again, multiples of 6, or sorry, factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. None of those are going to add to 3. This one, however, both pluses because both of these are pluses. What factors of 18 sum to 9? These are your factors of 18. There they are paired up. You'll notice that 3 and 6 are paired up. 3 and 6 sum to 9. These are your two factors. x plus 3 is a factor of x squared plus k, kx plus 2k. And for d, when k is equal to 9. That's going to be your answer. So at least thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.